Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our ongoing Let's Play of Disco Elysium for the PS4. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, and contribute to my Patreon. Link is in the description at the bottom. Alright, last time we explored a bit of the island, found the, yeah, confirmed that the sniper is here, and also had a uh, metaphysical confrontation with, yeah, basically the X-something taking the form of Dolores Day. The greasy old spring mattress lies in the corner. Yes, any time. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. You don't have to be a hero. Alright, anyways, now that that's all taken care of, let's see if we can pass this conceptualization check. Serialized. Here we go. And detectives. Oh yes, under the bed, there is a rather extensive collection of critical theory. That is, dour, life non-affirming left-wing literature, published by small imprints such as Abattoir Firm and Uzia. It's not exactly like reading. Hmm. Uh, look, I uh, look, Kim. A down uh, uh, book, left wing. No comment. Do you? Uh, deranged commie ranting. Ooh, yeah. I agree. Humanitarian sciences. It stands out. Not a lot of critical theory around in Havashul West. Your incendiary remark has failed to provoke him. Wasn't there some in the communist student's room? A student in the apartment building seemed to have some as well. Well, yes. That one student did. The little books seem inconsequential next to the big pile of frivolous entertainment covering them. Critical theory books? What do you think this means? Again, I am not a philosopher. But whoever has lived here, they have some education and a certain set of interests. Interesting. It's clear you like the hard stuff, Brota. Uh, the what? Uh, it sounds like my stomach's growling. Evening falls. The time has come to take the vow. Vows? The vows are blurred and flesh. What's my lower intestine going on about? Lower intestine? The term is metabolic and circulatory system. Okay, but what's the hard stuff? Fascism, Brota. Uh, what is fascism, though? Many things, but it's mostly about trust in your gut. Who does your gut tell you is the source of Rivershot's problems? I thought you were my circulatory system. Quit stalling, Brota. We're talking about the weakest, worst, most insane thing. The weak link. Uh, financiers? Yes, them. But also, wormen. Oh God, what? Women, men of woo, you don't like them. They're insane. Their idiocy needs to be scrubbed off this world with rubbing alcohol. Woo men need to go back to the fucking kitchen. And you need to shut up. That's what fascism boils down to. The rest is also important. But the main thing is that woo men need to know their place. Am I having some kind of stomach seizure? Stomach truth. You're having a stomach truth. Why am I getting this? Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. The good things, you've said them many times. Fascism sounds so bad, though. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, let's call it that. Good thinking. That sounds much better. Traditionalism. You like the sound of that. All right, I made up my mind about fascism. You're going to keep your views right. Keep your views, Brota. Absolutely not. I'm not going to be played by an upset stomach. There's a slow, painful growl somewhere in your intestines, knocking on your alcohol-engorged liver. It is one of betrayal and disappointment. Uh, so, accidentally triggered the fascist there. Yeah, no, it seems like this guy's, uh, oh yeah, so that's what the guy meant by communism killed him. Oh, the assailant was a communist. And seems to have, well, done what most, uh, and seems to have, well, well, taken it to its absolute worst extremes. 
like I said before, sometimes it's not the ideology's fault. It's the people who do a twist and uh, twist to pervert the ideologies. The, per uh, the people who take it way too damn far. Extremism. That's the real enemy. And don't you fucking forget it. A rubber dinghy. It's deflated. Broken. Small white flowers blossom all around you. I think there's the fire guy. What is this noise I keep hearing? I know there's something around here.
All right. Let's see, I got all the armor here. Good. So. An old man wearing tracksuit trousers leans on the frame stock of his rifle. He gathers a big ball of spit in his mouth, then spits it out into the extinguished fire before him. He raises his black eyes, hooded by creased eyelids to meet yours, unclouded by cataracts. His eyesight is sharp. He's practically tearing up from spite. Hatred got the best of him a long time ago. This man hates everything. Are you the fire guy? The what now? I can't hear you. Did you recently tell two kids to put out their fire? Two twins? I may have. All sorts of little rats have come sniffing around, trying to give up the position. The position? Sounds like a hiding place. Fire guy. Regressive bourgeoisie henchman. Can't even talk like a grown-up. You retained your eyesight. My eyesight? <clears throat> yes. Helps me see all the shit. How'd you, how'd you close the blast door? I did. And you opened it. How? Fueled the generator, then used the console. I should have burned that console down. How'd you know I was coming? Reactionary rock and roll music. Playing on the water. I told you we shouldn't play sad FM. It was uh, it was a rock and roll. It was sad FM. Sad FM, huh? I always hated that station. Phlegmatic counter-revolutionary dirges. Sadness is a mental illness, a weapon of the bourgeoisie. The fascists were right about rock and roll. It is degenerate, hip gyrating, mental illness music. Nice gun you got there, Batman. It's not nice. It's a piece of shit. But it gets the job done. Is that a Bell McGrath? It's a three Angong 446. A Samaron rifle. How did you get hold of one? It was sent to us by our brothers in the Sinyao commune. Military aid. If that stay true to him, he can still make it sing. Is Sin Yao coming? You heard me. It's good now. Like chalk, white from the board. But your, your weapon stay true to you. Mine stay true to me too. Yes. I bet you've killed a lot of people with it. You fascist fuck. Have you come to make me? One of them. His left eye twitches. With what? Fear? Rage? We have come to ask you questions. Nothing more. If you do not comply, we will take you in. Do you understand? Another spitball lands in the ashes. That's all the answer he gives. Uh, sir, I need you to put down that gun so we can talk further. We're with the police. The lieutenant pulls his pistol from the holster. You are a glorified night watchman. This is a service rifle. I can only lay it down before an enemy commander of corresponding rank. Hmm. I, I, I. No, that might uh, that might trigger him. Okay, but keep the gun down while we talk, Kim. The lieutenant aims his pistol square at the man's forehead. Put it down now, sir. Or you're gonna blow my brains out before you question me. To hell with it. It's a walking stick anyway. It's out of bullets. Like an amputated limb in the sand. He stares on, his wrinkled mouth moving without a sound. A strange sadness, like a song. What'd you say? The future teaches you to be alone. The present. The present. The present to be afraid and cold. 
the future teaches you. Real music. Real brilliant good. That's La Revachelier, not your rock and roll misanthropy. Chanson de soldat of the black and whites. You need to address that remark. I'm not a misanthrope. I'm a half dead police officer who's just doing his job. The job of a shit licker. What's Le, uh, Le Revachelier? It is the anthem of the world revolution. One of three. In Grad, they sang brave children, favorites of history. And in Sin Yao, it was... Some Samaran shit, I guess. How's it go, the song? How did it go? Something about shooting rabbits. I don't know. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It's gone now. He waves erratically with his hand, annoyed that he can't remember. A little tremor passed through him. It was dear to him. He resents forgetting it. His gaze follows your motions. The rifle feels surprisingly light in your hand. Frame stopped and patched in places with tape and wire. The rifle's in a shabby state, like a crutch that's seen too much travel. Hieroglyphs are embossed into the forearm made of walnut. On the butt, you see Vespertine writing, burnt into the wood. Triangon, 4.46 millimeter, made in Sinyao. It's as he said, it's a tree long, made in Sinyao. No one said it has to be a banana grave. We were just guessing. From ballistics, it could easily have been a triangle, too. It doesn't matter if it was made in Shanti Shanti. All it has to do is use jacketed ammunition. And it does. Yep, jacketed ammunition. Uh, jacketed ammunition. 4.48. The right type and the right calibre. He's liking this. The old man keeps following your motion with his gaze. His right arm twitches suddenly. Some kind of involuntary response. Something is slightly off with his motorics. This looked very much like the murder weapon. It could be used against him to get a confession. In time. Who are you? My name is Josef Lilianovich Dross. Political Commissar of the 114th Anti-Aircraft Division of the 4th Army of the Commune of Revachol. I am a deserter, a partisan, and a prisoner of war. This is my term of surrender. The Commune of Revachol? Do you mean DICM? Your uh, holdover from the... From the Insul Indian Citizens Militia. The Army of the Revolution. I was recruited in Jamrock in 07, trained in the Ecole de Contrôle Orion, and consigned to emergency defense duties in 08. I left my unit on the eve of the landing. When I returned here on May 14th, the commune had fallen. Still armed and ideologically trained, I wrote a criticism of myself and resumed partisan duties. How long have you been on the island? 43 years. No. I've been on other islands too. I was an resurrection until they turned it into a spa in 18. Then I was an E-48, a nameless sound, until the sea washed over it. Then I came back here. That was 22 years ago. Again, you've been hiding here for 43 years? 43 years and 10 months. That's insane. It's not how a human being should live. But I had to. I couldn't just forget. I couldn't just forget what I saw. He just couldn't. You couldn't give up. He nods. But he can now. What have you been doing during all this time? Hiding, fishing, waiting. When the afternoon grows late, on Rue de saint Gislain, people walk home. Street lights will soon be lit. Further inland, 
The streets are alive with workers, men, women, children, street hawks and migrant laborers. The temperature is steady. Alto cumulus clouds form above Precinct 41. Two police officers step out of the whirling in rags cafeteria. Satellite officer Jean Vicmer inspects a series of burnt black letters splashed across the plaza mosaic. Patrol officer Judith Minow points west. The fishing village. She glances at her watch. We meet in 15 minutes. It's a 10 minute walk. The officers go, leaving behind the writing, still smoldering. One day, it says, I will return to your side. Always waiting. For what? For her to return. Her who? Girl child revolution. Mm -hmm. I came from there. I can assure you that is not what the people are planning. I am not a fool. I know. The material base for an uprising has eroded. The working class has betrayed mankind. The historic opportunity for a revolution has passed. It will not come back anymore. However hard I try. Whatever I do. You, uh, you said you deserted your unit. I was just 16 years old. 15 when I volunteered. I had a lapse of faith. <clears throat> and of courage, too. Lapse of faith? You could say I misunderstood the historic role of the proletariat and thought Mazovian socioeconomics were fallible. For a second, I doubted the irreducible laws of historic materialism. A second is all it took for what for reaction to take hold what's reaction petty bourgeois terror it's in all men and when was this exactly may the 13th 08 44 years ago the horizon was black with coalition airships their petroleum rose to the sky and it looked like like it formed the clouds, storm clouds. When they started shelling, it was dark magic. Dark magic? The combined might of international capital. All at once, all the greed and terror in the world tore into Revachol. It lifted streets from the ground and turned houses into ghosts. We were in the flak tower. Huddled on the floor, the artillery was 80 kilometers away in Ozon, but I knew, I knew the commune would fall. We would all be turned into ash. So I said I was going to the map room. A terrible shame, still within him. The lobes of his ears are red with it. The shame and smallness of what he became. He didn't go to the map room. No. I climbed the chain link across the water and hid inland, in the bunkers there, like the weakest of the weak. A mouse, frightened of the ordinance all night, and the sound of the rotors in the morning, whirring. Airships, multi-rotored airships used in the landing. Airships? Aerostatics. The landing had started. I climbed out into hell. There were ships all above, hissing, whirling, and men pouring out. The chain was submerged, so I had to swim back. The fortress was half submerged too, shattered. They'd all drowned in the lower levels, or got torn to shreds above. The anti-aircraft gun had malfunctioned. So had I. I left them without ideological direction. It was real. I'd seen it. I'd seen it in reality. Seen what? The mask of humanity fall from capital. It has to take it off to kill everyone, everything you love. All the hope and tenderness in the world. It has to take it off just for one second to do the deed. And then you see it as it strangles and beats your friends to death. 
the sweetest, most courageous people in the world. You see the fear and power in its eyes. Then you know. What? That the bourgeois are not human. I had to. I had to fight it. I had to never stop. What is this place? This island? It's not an island, Dwight. It's a defensive fortification of the commune of Revachol. And I am its last surviving defender. What's it used for? A congenitally deformed King Philip II built it to restrict access to the Bay of Revachol. We captured it in O2. Retrofitted the fort with an AA gun to defend against an airborne landing. Against the whole world. You mean the landing? Are you taking your rubbish on? Coalition military called it Operation Deathblow. I later found out on the radio they called it Deathblow. You are one of them? Tell me, who speaks like that? We had 50 million people on Caillou alone. Mm, first, I'm not one of them. Sure you are. You're our CM. Answer me. Who calls an operation against 50 million people death blow? Murderers. I know what you mean. You don't know. You haven't seen it. Iblis. Iblis? The black-eyed angel. How have we survived all this time? How does anyone survive? I steal. Now hold on there. Hmm. And what did you steal? Supplies, vegetables, I collect rainwater. It's the life of a dog, not a human being. <coughs> How is your health, Mr. Dross? I've been throwing up blood since winter. Red, like beetroot. Been passing it in stool, too. He does seem frail. Good for his age. More like 75 than 65. Trouble putting on weight could mean cancer. The RCM can provide medical services. You need to be looked over. I need to die. You don't have medical facilities. You have guns. That's all they give you, toy guns. We also have druamine. And we have druamine and other opioid-based painkillers. You must be in pain. I have been running out of that stuff. But this is a serious situation. You need to be looked over and we can do it. There's nothing to look over. The triage is in and it's black. Administer morphine. Moribund. How have you coped mentally? I haven't. I have holes in my brain. Years missing. Others filled with pain only. A decade of... I don't even know what. Inferno? I would imagine it gets tremendously difficult mentally to live in isolation. Traitors. It's better alone. I watch the people of this city turn the lights back on more and more each year. Ruins glimmering in the dark like a fucking merry-go-round. It's disgusting. Are they not heartbroken? How could they have moved on? How have you concealed yourself all these years? It was hard in the tents. I didn't have partisan training. They were searching for stragglers, those bloodhounds. Floodlights on the water at night. There were posters, campaigns. We communards still hoped, and they needed to snuff that hope out. The East capitulated. Martinez and Cold City were turned to dust. But Jamrock, Forberg, even Coron, and Boogie Street, of course. Those fucking kips had Marsov coursing through their veins. And others, too. Some cordons of Revachol were still fighting. There were cells. I tried to contact them. 
Soon they all went silent. The frequency's dead. How'd you get between here and the mainland? At night. I used a dinghy. I only went after dark then. When I got to the city, I stayed underground. Patrols. You lot. The commons, too. They'd started snitching. In the city, you move underground? From bunker to bunker. Not anymore. No one cares now. I don't even have to hide. They think I'm another antisocial vagrant. I could walk straight into that town if I wanted. I just... The weapons cache under St. Genestine 22B. In the basement. Have you been there? So you finally found it. There must have been a small squadron's worth of arms in there. Elmer Graves, right? They were damaged beyond use. I know. So you've been there? Sleeping. <laughs> Some nights. Am I scrounging on others? Those McGraves were shit, even before they corroded. Some had bullets in the chamber, however. You feel the dots connecting. Little dots on the map he's walked across. Why don't you just walk there? I don't want to. They're all traitors. Pigs, rabbits, and dogs. Men without ideals are only animals. He does not want to see life moving on. People forgetting, drinking, laughing. The past has completely consumed him. There's a small bunker under the Feld building. Have you stayed there? The propaganda bunker. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. Propaganda bunker? They stored leaflets there. Broadcasting equipment, too. Made broadcasts, I think. Propaganda officers. I buried them with their leaflets. They killed themselves. Two young boys. Killed themselves? A lot of our boys did. I spent some winters there. Never liked it. Kept thinking of them. No need to go underground anymore. It's better in the ruins on the ground. One more question. Do you smoke Toroburuti cigarettes? I do. <coughs> Ever smoked them on the mainland? They're good. Plenty of tar. I like that boy on the pack, too. Reminds me of the last century. Just stuck in the past or refusing to let go? Relayed. Tell me another thing. The old man looks across the water at the city, the ruins, the motorways rising above it. You said this is your termless surrender. Deal with the RCM. The coalition appointed mob that enforces bourgeois morals in Revachol. We're with the uh we're not coalition appointed. We just try to help people. You're the RCM. You represent the moralist international. The enemies of humanity who took this city. I represent their adversary, Le Parti Communiste d'Anselande. Take me to them as a prisoner of war. I have relinquished my weapon. I can no longer serve. No superiors can relieve me of my duty. You bulldoze them all to a mass grave for trying to free humanity. <coughs> a spray of blood from his mouth on the black charcoal in the fire pit. Rene, the royalist on the coast, said. The communards signed the revolution instrument of surrender. Liberal reactionaries signed that instrument. Traitors who should have been burned alive. I answer to the communist party. Is that part of why you've been here all this time? Because the party didn't surrender? He just wipes the blood from his chin. That's insane. You're insane. Radio shows, speed racing, sporting goods, none of it is real. So you're a communist soldier from the army? No, I am not a soldier. I am an ideological officer. I belong to the party, not to the army. But you said you were trained and assigned to the Defense Corps. Trained in historical materialism, then assigned as a political commissar by the party. These things used to mean something. Wait, what does a political commissar do? The old man does not answer. He tilts his silver head and looks at the reeds. You see a small tremor pass through his legs. 
His job was to assure the army answers to civilian control and follow the ideology of the commune. Scientific communism. A commissaire politique is a night philosopher of the revolution. A future human. Awakened from shutdown by the promise of ideology. And that means you're a trained communist, right? He nods slowly. Then another tremor. Hmm. I'm not really into politics myself. Hmm. He looks away to the sea and lets out a cough. I have another serious question for you. There's nothing serious in this world. It's a oh. farce. Uh, what have you been using this gun for? I've used it for killing people. Killing people? It's a gun. That's what they're for. You want a moralist euphemism? Defending your family and your property. I haven't done that. I've used it to kill people. Interesting. During or after the war? There is no after the war. Class war is never over. This is it. You can feel it. Like battery acid on the tip of your tongue. Something you haven't felt in a while. But... But what? This is what you live for. This is the shit. The great serotonin jackpot. Go in straight. No euphemisms. He doesn't like those. No, no. Be careful now. Slow and steady does it. Make him repeat it first. Don't mess this up. Remember, he wants to tell you. Get personal. I know you want to tell me. Uh, wait, so which do I say then? Nothing comes to you. Silence. His black eyes look at you, and in them a chill, like electricity running up your spine, crawling into your skull. What? All is not as it seems. Detective. Did you use that gun to shoot and kill a colonel of the security contractor, Crenel? Let's... I know you want to tell me. Have you killed anyone with that gun in the last week or two? I don't want to tell you anything, you grotesque murderer. And why did you think that was a good idea? Don't listen to me. I'm wrong all the time. Did you use that gun to shoot and kill a colonel of the sec a security contractor, Crenel? The who now? He hurt you. He just wants to hear you say it. You're in. Let's see. One of the fascist death squad who took a bullet in the mouth of the night of March 4th. Oh, yes. That one. Ugly piece of work, that boy. Did you kill him? I am a son of a welder and an officer of the commune of Revachol. I do not collaborate with murderers and pederasts of the liberal regime. A drop of blood in the saliva. The gun. The murder weapon is the perfect opener. The scent of blood in the air. But what else? There was something you can't remember. Something about the tracks. Suddenly, all those tracks are so confusing. Go with something else first. Let's see. Oh, come on, what am I forgetting? Wait, here it comes. The goddamn Maybells. The dried Maybells on Clasia's roof. Oh, yeah. There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. And Maybells on Clasia's balcony. And nowhere else. Nowhere in all of Martinez have you seen them. Wait, don't forget the footprints. The diagonal prints in the dust in the secret space behind Classia's bedroom. Now, they're gonna come up. Of course! Thank you, Head! Thank you! You got it. Remember, the boot prints were like no modern soul. Maybe don't beat yourself anymore, though. You're not immortal. Maybells. Uh, behind the victim's window. I saw them growing here. Damn Maybells. 
The whole island is turning white with them. He seems tender suddenly, nostalgic even. A strange mood swing. So many this year too? The spring is coming. No, it's already here. Wash the filth away. I haven't seen these flowers anywhere else in Martinet. Only here. They blossom on the islets before. We fertilize them with our blood. Hezorexion was snow white in May before they ruined it. South, the Bay of Martinez is dotted with little freckles of islets turning green with white flowers in white snow. The coast, too, before they piled their containers on top of it, filled with broken, useless trash for fat fingered bourgeois children to play with. You must get around a lot to stay undetected all these years. Do you know any secret paths? Pinball workshops? I may. I, a young woman called Classia. Ring any bells? Flowers like these were behind her window. Classia. You know her, right? She had intimate relations with the victim, the mercenary. With the victim? There is a small tremble. Looks like a smile. A crooked smile. Yet isn't quite voluntary. He's about to burst. Almost. But you need one more. Just one. Or maybe two. I wonder what brand of boots you're wearing. Everything is brands with you individualists. Who cares what brand my shoes are? Sansa. Some shit. Show me the souls, please, Mr. Doras. Fucking imbecile. The maker is called Sansarik, and the size is 42 to 44. These are not the unusual horizontal pattern soles you saw in the dust on the floor of the hidden room. They do, however, seem to be about the same size. The size fits, but not the sole. Alright, drama check here. Wait, maybe it's simpler than that. Sire, he doesn't have to be wearing them right now. People change shoes. It doesn't mean you weren't there. Near the room, the victim died in sneaking around. Racking those brains, are you? Desperate to report something back to your masters? They must have really loved that dead fuck. The lieutenant gives you a quick sideways glance and nods to acknowledge. The prints were his. You can see it in those eyes. He can't keep them from flickering, looking for something. The old man stares at his own prince in the ash around the fire. Silence suddenly, some strange process within him. A gush of wind. Seagulls in the distance. More. He's gonna crack. But you need a little more. I don't need your cooperation. Uh, have we done the ballistics? The shot came from the island. I saw you poking around there, looking for evidence. You're damn diligent when it comes to dead fascies. Did you like the view? You had direct visibility. There are embrasures in the concrete, specifically meant for a top follower to use. And you had a long-range rifle in your possession. You've been here a long time, Mr. Dras. Too long. You clearly need medical aid. I'm ready to die. <coughs> I've done my part. He's practically admitted to it. Dead fascists, for fascists, done his part. Mm. You said fascists. You admitted you killed him. You're sad for your fascia brother, aren't you? One twig got broken. Now the others are sad. Leave no stone unturned. Get him on what matters most. I don't need your cooperation. I got this. <laughs> Not a lot of guns around that use military-grade ammunition, are there? It's a real gun. Not like your little musketeer pistol. I've seen you prance around with that. Jumping hoops for the liberals. You look like imbeciles. Why don't you ask them to give you real weapons? <laughs> Going against automatic rifles with these toy guns. Of course you got those boys killed. Damn, he saw you. He's watched it happen. So he saw you. Okay. So what? Don't let it divert you. 
Mm. Stop changing the subject. We have the murder weapon. You know what? You're right. I'm convinced this made the shot. Should we call it? Hmm. Do you think we have the murder weapon? 4.46 jacketed ammunition. Modified for range. We have it. This is it. I'm calling it. We have the murder weapon. Good. This feels good, doesn't it? Tearing things up like this. When you have the murder weapon, you have the killer. Murder. Like a marionette on some invisible string. You know who he was. A coalition trained murderer. Armored and armed. He wasn't human. The blunt end of a hammer. He was a rape. With blood. He was a rapist. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it. Beating us to the ground. Moaning with joy. You hounds get so thorough when a company trained killer dies. I haven't seen you on this coast for 40 years. You know, maybe I should have killed one sooner got your attention now you stop beating druggies and prostitutes in your basement now you come to investigate not when they die by the hundreds this is it shot him shot him say shot him not killed him so you shot him oh the inhumanity one paramilitary less in Revachal. The lieutenant raises his right arm to hush you. Hush. He does not need to be pushed anymore. The ball is rolling. While the lieutenant listens, holding his breath. I had them in my sights. Both of them. Him and the whore. I was breathing with them. In phase. And I pulled the trigger and flew on the air until I landed in his mouth. I didn't think I had a shot like that in me anymore. I did. I saw him kneel there with his mouth full of death and that stupid look on his face. And his dick still in her. Then what? Nothing. I went to sleep. Next morning there were Maybells everywhere. The world was white, or what's left of it anyway. My last spring here, I knew the fascists would come to avenge their own. And so they did. Mr. Dross, are you aware you're confessing to murder? Yes. And you were looking at them, the victim and a young woman, having sex, through the scope of your rifle that night, before you shot him? The old man. Nods. Why? Because that's what they were doing. I don't understand. Do you, detective? I don't understand this part. I think I know. Why were you looking at them at night? I'm always looking. Are you always looking through the scope of a rifle? I'm just trying to understand. A rifle scope has the best magnification. And if you don't like it? Click. <laughs> You pull the trigger. Yes. Think of it as a form of critique. He will not stop now. These dialectical materialist types never do exploit it. What specifically did you not like about what you saw the night of the murder? Them. Fucking. I didn't like that. So you were jealous? Jealousy is a reactionary concept. I didn't like the Reaver enjoying himself, drugged out, soothed in the arms of a young woman. I wanted him to die so he could not enjoy life anymore. So you're just a petty little shit. And I wanted to see his head explode. That too. She should know better than to hold a child murderer between her thighs. I knew he'd be there for one more second. Writhing. That's all it takes for the bullet to reach his head. Now that I think of it, I wasn't aiming for his mouth. I wanted his brains to spill out on her. But you can't have everything. You're a sick piece of shit, you know that? This man has seen past her, like you did. 
And now he longs to see her covered in blood. To punish her. You wanted to punish her, so you killed him. She practically breastfed that man. You wouldn't believe the things she let him do to her. You stare at them too. In your mind, her innocence day still turns to leave. Airport bag in hand. Silks flowing in her wake. The dream. See you tomorrow, Harry. Her voice rings in the evening air. Burning. You saw through her? So, let's see. I'm not like that. I don't think like that. No one gives a shit what you think. You and your cronies kill ten working class men a day. I've heard the statistics on Channel 8. How long have you been watching her? Since she came to Martinez. I saw her sneaking in the reeds early in the morning behind the fell building. It was dark, still winter. She didn't have her skimpy outfit on then. Just a spot in the night, moving. Past the fell building on the coast? What was she doing there? Hiding something in the water. She had a fag after she'd done it. I was up in the ruins there. She couldn't see me, but I could see her, smoking. She was nervous, but not scared. And beautiful. What do you think she hid there? Her passport and tickets to Riyadh. <coughs> and from there, to Kashyyyk Blue. This is the hidden buoy she told us about. You looked into it. After she was gone. Did you keep what was in it? When we found the submersible, it was empty. No. Why would I do that? I didn't need tickets to Villiers. I'd put them back. If I wanted to extort someone, I'd do better. This implies that he's thought about extorting her. Are you sure? We checked the submersible. There was nothing there. Why would I need that trash? I'm not going to Villiers. A strange confusion comes over him from time to time. Some kind of aberration of the nervous system. Moving on, did you continue watching her after this? I did. She had a face like an archipelago with those birthmarks. And a body hard and lean and bruised all over. Black and yellow. I could see she's taken a beating. I could see who she was, too. A spook. On the run. Revachal's the cloaca of capital now. All the bagmen and arms dealers end up here to do drugs and have sex like animals. You could tell she was a spook from the documents? She had different color hair on the photo and glasses. Forged. Some sordid bourgeois affair. I heard about this kind of thing on the radio. The bruises. You can't make that out in a scope. And you could see her bruises through the scope of a rifle? You can't see bruises through a scope. It's just a blur. Let's see. How does he know those minute details about her body? It quickly comes to you. The bruises on her body. Any chance you see them through a hole in the wall? Oh, yes. Cutting those drugs of hers into little lines with a knife. Masturbating. Everything in him fills with impossible longing. All at once. Did you make that hole? With a clip point knife. Good for listening in, too. For hearing the moaning and the snorts. Did you hear it through a window on the roof? Like that, too. Yes. Bending like a bow against the glass. You've been through the secret route behind the whirling and rags. Those were your footprints there. You just changed shoes. I've been through all of Martinez. Every nook and cranny. And that too. Yes, that too. The things they did in that little room. What she'd do to feel good. Funny, the way light works. You turn it on inside, and it gets so dark out, you can't see a man looking in. I learned that in the 20s, when they were still hunting me. I've seen people do some shit, but... Those two took the cake. You hear the familiar scribble of the lieutenant's pen. A quick glance at you. 
One more loose end down. We're doing this, Detective. How did you get in there? The hidden pinball workshop. I can just walk in there now after a good wash. I told you, they think I'm an antisocial. Closing hour is a good time. The kitchen plenty. You had to open the steel door in the kitchen? How? I got that open a long time ago. Some bourgeois game merchant lived there. I don't know, 15 years ago? He left spare keys all over, and I took one. Then I saw her turn the light on one night in my scope. Andy found use for it. A spare key, like the one hanging behind the Union box window. You have feelings for that woman. There's... There's nothing to hold on to. Only this. It's, it's not enough. The coals of his eyes glisten suddenly, like stones dripping with water. Is he crying? Man needs to feel something else. In this fight, it helps if you have your eye on something there. It's weakness, I know. All right, we're going to continue on with the interrogation later. Till next time, folks. This is David on David's Brain. See you when I see you. Bye-bye.